Hello, everybody. Today we're going to get uh, game lift set up. I'm going to assume that you guys can figure out how to create an account just like anything else. Um, they are going to ask personal information and all that sort of stuff. Um, they don't charge you immediately. A little bit of it's free, but you can read all about it on their website. Um, but we're going to, this tutorial, we're just going to get game lift the stuff we need um, and then the next one we'll actually talk about you know using it and we're going to be using it with a plug plug-in off the marketplace um, we'll get into more details off that uh, later on you don't necessarily have to use the plug-in but I highly recommend it um, Amazon has their own plug-in uh, but it's extremely difficult to use so anyway assume you do all this uh, you're gonna sign up I'll have the link for you gonna go ahead I'm gonna sign into my existing account once you get here, this will be the first place you come, at least it should be, uh, just find services, type I am. Okay, and I have this little walkthrough over here over everything we're going to do to keep it nice and simple. You won't, you'll have a bunch of stuff that won't be activated like I have. Um, so it's not going to look exactly the same, but we're just going to go through it as close as I can without recreating everything. So I'm gonna go to groups and you're gonna need to create a new group. So create a new group and you can name a group or whatever. I'm gonna name my group test group. Okay, um, next step. Um, for starters, uh, just give this group, uh, I don't know, administrator access. Um, that's what I have right here. Uh, click administrator access, uh, next step and then you can review it whatever you want to do and click create group now i have my old group here that's one i've been using uh, but we have our test group and so after we make our group you need to add a user to your group so go to users okay and we're going to add a user and our user's name is going to be test user okay and we're going to give him all the accesses Okay, I don't know all the intricate details of whatever. I am going to give him uh, a custom password because I can't remember anything. All right. Um, and that should be good. And then our permissions, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to see, do I have it written down here? I'm going to go to test group, select that. Um, add user to an existing group or create one. Okay, so we're going to add user to the group. So we, we just made our user, test user, and we're going to add them to test group. Uh, you'll probably only have one option at this point. Go to your tags. You don't have to do tags, so we can skip that. Go to review, and we're going to take test user, uh, programmatic access. Okay, great. Custom, required password, uh, boundaries not set and test group okay i think we're good so we're going to create our user kaplow okay so let's scoot this over all right so we have our uh test user this is going to be very very important um this is where you're going to want to get your access key and i kind of jumped ahead over here i want to make sure i'm getting all my steps so i'm going to glance through it um select your user okay that's how to get that let's see here select tags Okay, go to review, review. Okay, download CSV folder. Okay, so we can, uh, you can show it and you can look at it right here. I'm not going to use this, so look all you want. Um, I would recommend doing this. Download your CSV folder. And CSV is just a sheet with a bunch of commas, but they put it into a nice like spreadsheet so you can show it in the folder. And you're going to need to keep that so that way you have memory of this because we're actually going to put it into our blueprints so i'll bring it over here expand it um double click over here double click over one of these okay there you go and so you'll have your access key and your secret access key and these are what basically you put it into the blueprints at a specific point and that's how um when you're signing in your your um server or your clients and everything know where to go it'll send it to here and it'll use this to get access basically so very very important but if you lose it it's fine you just create um a, a new access key and I'll, I'll show you how to do that so um we can x out of there and don't save okay and so we can close this all right and i think i even cover that 
Um, in your user, you can renew your credentials by going to users. So go into our, let's see, just like act like you just came here, users. Um, go into your test user and go into the security credentials. Okay. And notice you have, you can see your access key, but I don't know how to see your secret key. I think it's like one of those things once they give it to you, that's it. You know, um, maybe, maybe you can get it again, but from a security point, it would make sense not to, you know, just keep displaying the secret key, but I don't know. I have no idea. Like I said, this is all new to me. Um, go ahead. If you like lose your key or whatever, um, click create access key and then bam, it just gave you a whole new key and a whole new thing. You can download your CSV folder and all of that. Okay. So whatever. Um, I'm going to, for, for our tutorial, I'll probably use the second one. So let me just kill that first one. Um, should you want to delete? Yeah, why not? Okay. And then that's our active access key. Okay. So you can run into certain situations where um, you have a group and you want to add a user, uh, select your group and groups. So you're going to group select your group and that's kind of where we started from there um, if you have no users you can make one by selecting users add user so basically you gotta have a group you gotta have a user all right um, if you have no users I put a note down here um, you make one by selecting users add user follow steps I through n up here sorry um, I through n maybe I've been at the other way around no I threw in and then you'll have your your stuff okay so you've you set up your account on your own you have your key and your secret key um which are very important got those you're good to go um so what's next you want to get game lift local so let me get you there um it says from here getting started and let me just click on the link okay so you want to you want to go ahead and get game lift local and you can get it from here um and what's this going to do this is going to give you amazon's plugin and it's going to give you game lift local so let me explain what is game lift local so to test what you have to make sure all your connections are set up properly um you have to make sure that or you don't have to but you should test it before you upload it because it takes time so let's say you make your server and you have your client and game lift local will run as a, another so you'll have okay so you have game lift local running you'll have your server running and you'll have your client running and if they all link up uh, all is happy your client will be able to play the game and your server will be reporting to game lift local that it's healthy okay so really it's to check your server that's that's the main thing so basically if you can prove that your server is giving game lift local a message that says hey i'm healthy then you've succeeded and then you can proceed on to the next step which is actually uploading your uh game to game lift Okay, so it's 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 a, it's a check, and it saves you time because it's not so quick to just upload. I mean, if you got fast internet, great. I don't. Um, so you upload it, but then to deploy it, that takes like twenty minutes. So if you got a bug and you're trying to figure out what your bug is, yeah, that can take some time uploading it, checking it, whatever. So they give you Game Left Local. It's a quick and easy way to check things. Well, not easy. It's command line uh, to make sure that things are going great. So uh, that's what Game Left Local is. Um, Anyway, so you're going to download it. It's going to come as a zip folder. Let me just read through this here and make sure I have everything. Uh, download Game Lift Local from here. Okay, that's where we're at. Select uh, Amazon Game Lift Server SDK. Game Lift, Amazon Game Lift Server SDK. And then download now. Um, extract with 7-zip. And we'll only be using the uh, folder titled Game Lift Local. Okay, so you download the zip file right and you use 7-zip which we talked about in a previous tutorial it's just any any extractor will work and it will look like this okay so you'll have inside your zip folder uh game lift 12 14 whatever you'll have the um sdk release which you don't need unless you're going to go ahead and do this without the marketplace plugin if you want to use uh amazon's plugin and use uh, c++ code that's fine uh but if you're going to use the the plugin from the marketplace which is blueprints which i like then all you'll need out of this is game left local so you download that you get game left local and there you go so right now i'm just worried about getting you everything you need you don't have to worry about 
I don't think we have to worry about setting that up. Maybe we do. Yeah, just hang on to it. It pretty much just runs from the folder anyway, from what I remember. Um, okay, so now you need to get the AWS command line installer. Okay, so let's get in here. Let me open that up. Okay, so if you run into this problem like, oh man, his link didn't work, he sucks, uh, just copy this uh, or control C, which I recommend, it's even better. Uh, open up Notepad, all right? And just control V for paste, control A for select all, control C for copy again, and then just bring it in here and control V it in the, the uh, URL, and then bam, there you are. Okay, so if you notice over here, this is a step-by-step -step guide explaining what everything is, and configuring it, and all this blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's very handy. It's not just blah, 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 but there's different ways you can install and different things you can install i'm getting you right to the point of what you really want to install which is the quickest easiest thing um and that's going to be your download the aws um cli um from the msi installer and then once you download this and run it here it is right here um i think that's it this guy right here um it's pretty much a straightforward process and it'll install that's straightforward so what the hell is it okay what it is, um, let me see, it tells you right here, command line interface. What is the AWS command line interface? And it goes on and spends forever trying to tell you what the hell it is. It's just so you can upload your stuff, so you can upload your servers. Otherwise, I mean, there's no, so we're getting into like the pro, the pro, pro tools, I hate using that term. Uh, we're getting into using, you know, professional stuff here. So, like, everything it starts to become command line for whatever reason. I guess that's the cool thing to do, but it's the cheap thing to do. So, there's no, like, you can't drag and drop your servers onto AWS to upload your stuff. You actually have to run the command line, and it goes through the whole, uh, the whole process of doing that. So, you'll point it at your server, and then your server will begin to upload. Okay. So that part's straightforward what's not straightforward is that you got to configure it so let's say you down downloaded it you've run your installer and you're like okay now what how do i run this well just come over here and you need to bring up a command prompt so you can either do cmd charles mary david and that will pop up okay or you can do what i like to do when it works powershell which is command line only more friendly because you can move around stuff and click it around and it may be installed on your computer it may not I, most computers now have it in how to check if aws is installed you just type in aws okay and if you're getting stuff that looks like this like aws um help and all this other crap then you know you're good to go it's installed well not good to go but it's installed you still have to do one other thing you have to configure it so that it works with your stuff so aws and i think it's configure okay great so it's going to ask for your aws access key id which is in that csv folder we downloaded then it's going to ask for your secret key and then it's going to ask for your region okay so how do we get those great question so let me go into uh my little oh my god for the love of god okay so my system just totally crashed it's i found out it's that stupid windows thing when you shake things like a little bit then my whole cameras and everything shut down so okay i got interrupted so let's hope i doesn't throw any of us off so yeah i was just saying um that you type aws configure and you get your access key id and then you'll get uh you'll need to enter in the rest of that information so what is the inf rest of that information um so i'm going to move this over carefully so it doesn't crash things. And then I am, I think I got it right here, uh, configure installer, use this page as a guide. The reason I'm not doing it in front of you is because I don't want to configure it and then break it. Uh, seems like things are somewhat delicate with this stuff. So um, let me go ahead and what I did, I just copied that from in there, at least I think I did. And then we'll do a new screen in here. Paste. Oh, no, not plus, enter and right here okay so he typed in don't worry about the dollar sign just forget about it um aws configure okay and then type in aws access key and then you put it in there press enter 
and you have a secret ac- access key put it in there and press enter and you're like what the hell what's my region i don't know um when you go to sign in for the love where well when you when you sign in uh that first link let me see it'll show you and i'll sh- if i can get things to work actually i think i can just click well oh, control click of course load okay so on your when you get when you get to a part where you're actually signed in okay not just on the aws whatever when you're in the management console look up here it tells you your region and i'm us east 2 okay so it'll provide that information i'll tell you what you need to put in there so just copy that out or remember it and put it right in there this i don't know i think i put jace j-o-s-o-n or j-s-o-n i think i put that in there i don't know maybe i put text i don't know just do what it says here and if you have problems try something else don't know what to tell you like i said i'm new to it so do all that and you should be configured i don't know in here if there's a test for it yet so you can like do stuff i don't think there is until we actually do it so you won't really know until we go ahead and fire her up so great Let's see where we're at. So we're down to the AWS configure and the command prompt. Okay, configure with the information, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go through this and inevitably there's gonna be something I missed. I told you, brand new. The other guy, he, I don't know if he covered this. He has his own set of tutorials. The guy who made the plugin that I'm eventually going to be talking about. I don't know if he covered this at all. If you have questions, just, uh, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, you probably are going to have the same question as somebody else. I'll answer it. If somebody else could help me out and maybe answer it if they know the, the answer to it, okay? Because we're all, we're all going to be new to this. I've signed into it once and I've demoed it with you once. So um, ask questions put the answer in there and to be honest this whole segment uh this whole series that we're doing not the whole series but the whole game lift portion of the series is more for my reference okay this is this is really to help me so i know what i'm doing next time i go to set it up and what i'll do is down the road once i'm more proficient with game lift we'll probably redo this tutorial so that way it's nice and fluid and i can explain everything in more detail but that's where we're at you should have everything that you need um besides the plugin and that can get you going so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video right here um oh yeah it, it don't forget what i was getting at before i interrupted myself um yeah what i'm gonna link a tutorial uh, of the creator of the plugin that we're gonna install he did a walkthrough he, he didn't cover up cover this whole sign-in process but he did things like um getting the secret key and that's really what's important here and uh and obtaining that so he may have done it a little bit differently and you may see him do something that might help you out so i'm going to put a link to there him in there um his video i should say and we're going to have a link to this word document so you have it i wrote this so who knows <laughs> what typos are in it i'm sure you'll tell me and uh the other stuff if you get lost look at the aws site uh this part it actually kind of documents especially if you just follow along over here uh everybody has different systems everybody has different things command line gets funky there are certain things like uh oh i can't think of the word but to get command line to recognize certain things and there's drives and all this other stuff you got to consider so look it up uh, read through it and that probably help you out so good luck and i will see you guys in the next one